It's time for Big Tigger's trending topics. Yeah, that's trending topics. Find out what's trending now with Big Tigger. Oh, he did not tell me for that. On V103. Time for the fall. Let me know your favorite folks, a.k.a. the trending topics, ladies and gentlemen. And the Me Too wave continues on. So, Simone Miles, remember her? Said she was also sexually abused by former USA Gymnastics Dr. Larry Nassar. She wrote on Twitter, quote, I am too one of the many survivors that was sexually abused by Larry Nassar. Please believe me when I say it was a lot harder to first speak those words out loud than it is now to put them on paper. There are many reasons that I have been reluctant to share my story, but I know now it is not my fault. She joins her Olympic teammates, Michaela Maroney, Ali Raceman, and Gabby Douglas, who have all come forward with accusations against Nassar. More than 100 girls have made similar allegations. Nassar will be uh, sentenced on seven sexual assault charges this week as part of a plea agreement. He's already been sentenced to 60 years, six zero years in federal court for possessing child pornography. Wow. Story developing. So, remember I told you Seal came for Oprah? <laughs> well, apparently lots of people came for him. A few days after the post, he shared a video stating he was not criticizing Oprah. He was specifically, he did also specifically call out Stacey Jazz, saying, Stacey Jazz, keep my name out your mouth. Do not retweet, requote anything that I have said in order to reinforce your self-hating agenda. He added, you live in the sunken place, Stacey Jazz. Well, damn. Again, this was not an attack on Oprah. It's what he said. Meanwhile, someone has launched an attack on him. Criminal investigation for sexual battery. 54-year-old singer is reportedly under criminal investigation. He denies any wrongdoing. An actress named Tracy Birdsall is making claims against Seal, alleging that the incident happened between the two in 2016. Said they were neighbors, close friends, until the incident happened at his home. Said that while over his home, the singer attempted to uh, force himself on her. Says at the time they were in the kitchen, he allegedly lunged at her. She said, what you doing? He said, I'm kissing you. She claims uh, Seal responded belittling her for what she was wearing, alluding to the fact that she asked for it by her attire. She was wearing a tank and shorts. She alleges he groped her breasts and told, and she told him to stop. She then says Seal invited her to sit on the couch next to him. She complied. She complied because he was in shock. She says that once again Seal began to make fun of what she was wearing and groped her again. Says she lo- she left shortly after that and did not have contact ever again. Story developing. And last but not least, remember this whole Nelly thing where he was allegedly uh, charged with rape and then the charges were dropped because the girl would uh, testify? Well, now details are coming out. Nelly's telling his side of the story because I think he's about to sue her. But he did basically admit to having consensual, unprotected sex with the woman. He says she removed her own clothing and he did not use any protection. He says he did not ejaculate. He claimed that the woman got upset because she thought he was involved in one of his dancers, who was also on the bus. She says Nelly forcefully removed her pants, threw her on the bed, and said, you're going to take this D. That's what she said. I didn't say it. She said it. She claims Nelly offered a $2,500 and asked her to stay on the bus until their next destination. She declined the money, says someone else pushed her off the bus, and Nelly threw $100 at her. He filed a lawsuit against Nelly for sexual assault and defamation. Nelly's camp plans to... Man. Tigger, where you going later? Home. So y'all can't talk about me. All right, then. Stories, more details and details at v-103.com. More Big Ticket Show now.